with the strike of a light bulb. I just air it out and leave with the mic broke. Your micro, I'm hard body like Tycho. Heavy metal Chevys with nitro. Addicted to the vapors of paper. Hypnotic to the thirst. I'm pulling off criminal capers. I know the cocaine crackery stinks, but that's what it is. Surrounded by the khakis and mints. We move. Okay. Hello, uh, I'm Tony Garcia. And I'm Mike Stout. And uh, this is our first uh, developer Let's Play of yes. Ratchet & Clank Going Commando. Yeah, if you, if you end up seeing Ratchet & Clank the first one at some point, we did not do that first. So don't right. those nasty comments. Right, we're beginning with Going Commando yes. because this was the first game we ever made in our entire lives. Yes, yeah, on Ratchet 1 we were just testers. That's right, and this was the first time we actually got to make the real decisions that impacted the quality of the game. I was a junior designer on this game. I was a junior programmer. I think that was my title, but I'm Could not be. exactly sure. Could be. Sounds right. Yeah. Sounds right that I was a junior programmer. Might have been junior gameplay programmer. They might have gotten even more specific. I'm just trying to give them good valuable information. I, know, it's good already. I want them to know what the game industry is really really all about. And you know what it's, it's really all about? Titles. Junior titles. gameplay That's programmers. That's right. Titles okay. are incredibly important. Mm. Okay. Well, let's let's get on with it then before yeah. this gets any more exciting. So, uh, let's start a new game. Uh, I'm going to go for new new game. See what's going on. Welcome back to Behind the Hill. All right. Uh, I think this story was uh, was penned by Mr. Oliver Wade. Yeah, I think so. That sounds about right. Uh, funny guy. Yeah, definitely Wade. funny guy. I think uh, uh, Oliver Wade was an animator, not a writer. Yeah. He did write the story, but his profession was uh, lead animator, I think, at that time. Yeah, and I think he wrote it with uh, with John Lawley, the animator. Yeah. Things started to slow down a bit. Multi talented animators at Inside. Yeah, yeah. Multi talented. Group right. of creative people. I think that was all funny guys. Week. All capable of uh, uh, what was the We're what was the catchphrase back then? It was uh, innovate, uh, not. Uh, yesterday, I, I don't know. That might have been a designer. No, thing. no, no. It was it was down from the top. I see. It was down from the top. Was at Insomniac, we innovate. We don't iterate. That was it. Is that it? Innovation, not iteration. Sounds that sounds good. Yeah. It's a good, uh, it's a good catchphrase. Oh yeah, so um, so one of the big things we were trying to do in this game was uh, sort of rescue Ratchet from how much of an asshole he was in the first game. Yeah, he was a bit of a jerk in the first game. Uh, so they changed a lot of things about him. You know, they put him in the commando suit. They gave him a different voice actor. I think this is uh, in the first game it was Mikey Kelly. Then right. it goes to be the, the the guy who does it for the rest of the, right. the series. He wasn't mean to Clank all the time. So. Yeah, in the first game, for he was no just kind of, yeah, just kind of a, 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 an asshole. Right, yeah. I, it's, it's, uh, I think it's a good change. I think they, I think his personality really started to shine a lot more in these games as they started to go out. And they started to uh, sort of really find their niches apart from each other. Like Ratchet is, is the guy who's sort of always eager to get into it. Right. Clank, Clank is sort of the comedy relief Mac Daddy kind of guy. And Ratchet really embraces the hero role in yeah. this game. Like yeah. He's eager... And ready to be the hero. And I like that you, uh, uh, I like that you put that at the part where they're finding out about all the cool shit they're gonna get when they work with this widget. Right. So there he is. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Macrame, ballroom dancing. Oh, that was funny. I'm still laughing. Jokes. <laughs> Jokes on jokes in this game. Yep. Uh, a note to some of the really hardcore furry Ratchet fans, he still has his tail in this game. Uh, even though he quote-unquote lost it in Ratchet, uh, deadlocked, it was still under there. I just want to make sure everyone knows that. The furries. All right, here we go. Into the first level, uh, my level, uh, originally designed by Mark Cerny. Uh, coded by uh, me, and uh, that would be excellent Tony. all the way around. Just all the way around. Uh, so this is the very beginning of level zero. Level zero, yes. Not all even the, level one. This the tutorial. The tutorials were always level zero because they were put in after everything else was made. 
Here's a nice little thing. See those little jet planes out there? Uh huh. The sky right here. Just a little ambience. Let you know what's going on. The world feels alive. Oh, this guy. Vibrant. Yeah. You know? Clouds whizzing by. Hold on, these controls just need to. These need to change. You were the, you were the one guy who never could get behind the uh, inverted it's, camera controls. It's wrong. It's just wrong. It shouldn't be that way. I, uh, I remember I, I was a staunch advocate of the way they were in this game until. Uh, they put a reticle on screen, and then I was with you. Right. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just the way it is. It, uh, everybody at Insomniac loves inverted... As Tupac would say. That's right. Everybody at Insomniac loves inverted controls, but I am not on board. Well, you know why you did? Because it's great. Yeah. And you loved it every single time, I'm certain. Uh, yes, yeah. I mean, except all the times it was broken, because you, your shit doesn't work I lot. don't, I don't break things. I only make them better. <laughs> breakables? You didn't try to break Always, them? Always, you know, you gotta break everything. Like. Were you responsible for those breakables? No, things? I think, uh, the, because I think this was Greg did most of the breakables oh, in yeah. this game. I think, uh... His, yeah, he, he did like the slot machines in the New Vegas level. Oh, wait, we can't say that. No, to... Nothing was breakable in this game until Greg came on board, yeah. and then everything was breakable. So thanks to uh, Peter Hastings' corn system, That's right. the breakables came to be. Uh, if I remember... Oh, 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 whoa! Oh, look at that! I didn't even remember that! You went look the at, extra mile there. Look at this! Or someone went the extra mile there. See, this is this is how I work. Nice subtle ring effect that you don't even really notice, but boom, just wake you up, show you what's up, remind you that I was here. You've always been a, a subtle guy. That's right. All right, let's see if I can make this work because there was a nice little, I think I spent way more time on this than I probably should have. Considering it doesn't work now. This little touch, I'm going to try to make it happen, see if I can go. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, yeah, okay. Flying through the sky. And then he gets pulled away. There you away. go, another one. Just like, like you really believe you're in a plane flying through the sky. Despite the fact that this level is not in fact moving. No, this channel. is a non-moving level. Everything is moving around it. You wouldn't know. Un unlike the snow level later on, I forget what it was called, but where, where you were on the truck. On that the was train. Actually, and That's right. Oh, uh, who was it? Was it? Uh, uh, <laughs> that was Robert? Brian Algeyer and Peter Hastings. I think worked on that level. Oh, and they had to make the uh, uh, they had to make the weapons all work. And it stuff. was a yeah. huge undertaking. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have that level because it was a lot of work to make that work. Because uh, if you think about it, like uh, you know, if you shoot a bullet. Uh, and you're moving, you, in order to make it feel like the bullet's moving with the thing. Right. Yeah. It's a huge pain in the butt. I, that might not make a lot of sense the way I say it. Try not to die this time, Tony. No, I won't. Mike, you're destroying the illusion that this is our first time playing through this game, <laughs> and we did, in fact, have massive technical problems. On did the I just break the sixth this. wall or something like that? So, here's the uh, another little bit of interesting trivia. The little blade balls here. Yeah. Simple, nice, simple, crisp, clean enemies. Which I've seen in a lot of games since. Right. Um, actually, about ten different revisions on these guys to make them make them work. And, and uh, by the end of it, they were pretty much the same. Exactly the same as they were. <laughs> but you know what? A lot of the change was what was actually inside the blade balls. That was a lot of uh, revision. What was inside there. at the start? Um, blades. But different types of blades. Oh. Different types of blades. They were always blades. blades. Uh, uh, a shout out to Carl Glaive. That's right. Yeah. Another subtle effect up here in the uh, up here in the sky. It's subtle. Make sure the player just you know maybe they don't notice it. Maybe they do notice it, but subconsciously they can tell it's there. You had to make all that stuff rotate too. Uh, that also was probably Greg. Yeah. The big okay. rotator Moby. Uh, we have just the one. Uh, Moby is uh, the, our name for any object Anything in the game that, moves, that does yeah. a thing. Yeah, that's a Moby. Uh, kind of long form for mob or right. Here, you would say in an MMO, here's another subtle in the effect of our time. That's right. Here's another little bit of subtlety, a special touch to make the world feel alive. Ratchet, nice, clean, normal ratchet. Nothing going on there. You take a step outside. Oh, the O2 look, mask. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That's you know that I think that's that shows an attention to detail. I think I just saw a bug and I'm not gonna try to point it out because oh oh 
What am I doing? That's the exact same place that happened before. <laughs> I told you not to do it, dude. All right. We're, All right. I'm just going to plow through this time. Speed just, run through. Maybe you can get through more than a quarter of your own level. No, level I, zero. So I'm going to make it happen. You know what this is, though? This is more experience. Me going through, sure. doing more bolts, more experience. We, uh, uh, well, not that many more bolts. Uh, after you break a crate, it just throws out. Well, the crates are gone. Yeah. yeah. That's a good touch. Yep. You, gotta, you know what? You gotta balance that economy. Yep. There was a lot of time spent balancing this economy. Dude, I, I, uh, I think I did the minor setups in this level too. So if you, so the way we, the way we used to do it, I don't think they do this anymore. Was if you come back to a level, the, the enemy setups are all a little different. Second time through. Right. And uh, 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 I think I did those in this level. So. We're not, you know, we're not gonna come back and bore the hell out of you, but yeah, you know, just little touches, you know. Little, little Games things. A little different if you do a replay. I think I got really lazy though, and just sort of made it so there were fewer enemies, this <laughs> or more, or something like that. It's like, oh, now there's swarmers here. But yeah, I mean, that's the, gonna be the biggest challenge I think playing through this game, Mike, is uh, seeing all the bugs and uh, not cringing constantly at all the uh, the things that are wrong, or at least that we think it'll, are wrong. It'll be that, and then trying not to throw up when you cycle the camera around like that while you're talking. I have to do something, like you have to make the world feel alive for the oh, viewers. But it hurts. I just want to see. Oh, oh it's a horrible bug. Oh, the clipping? The, the, the way that those... So this was a frame rate thing. Um, as I'm sure you spend a lot of time. Yeah. That, okay. you know, if you're not drawing it, you want to make it not appear. And, uh, right, like the mountains. So we would put these trigger volumes in to uh, to say, to stop drawing certain things. In. So the and that one, it wasn't placed well. We well, have. Yeah. So you, you, Clearly not by me, though. I, no, oh. I probably placed it. Here we I go. was doing most of the frame rate crap. Uh, oh, yeah, so this, this is showing sort of how purposely we set these things up. Uh, like... It tells you to use the gravity bomb. We have a bunch of guys there. We're trying to teach you that switching weapons is a good idea. Cause right. Because a lot of people don't think switching weapons is a good idea. We had a real problem in a lot of the early user tests getting people to switch weapons because uh, they were just having so much fun with the wrench or you know the, the regular blaster or something like that. And then later on, when when the weapons upgrade, we had to do a lot of obsoleting. It was it was a huge challenge for this game. I'm just here to fix the transflexor coil. Nice try. Give my regards to Megacorp. Uh, that's the the thief. The thief. Not to right. spoil anything. Uh, uh, very popular character, as it turns out. Uh, the, the the person behind that mask. Right. Look at those guys up at the top, just waiting, waiting for their turn. Yeah. You know, always there. Don't just teleport in enemies. You know, always bring them in. They could seem alive and real. No, no, that's not happening. If I die, it will be because of something stupid, not because an enemy kills me. Oh God! When we get to the levels I designed later, and I have to do some of those platforming challenges, I'm gonna <laughs> die a lot. Oh God! I'm not looking forward to this. So, uh, if I remember correctly, we had a hard time getting people to go down uh, this the tube. tube. Yeah, yeah, which is why you had like the camera cut. Place There's you right in front a of the full cutscene, just everything, just to uh, make people realize what's going on. lights around the. Because you know what, they yeah. would just want to wander around this room and see what's up. And well, if you if you come back by the door, and then uh, turn the camera towards the tube, uh, this is the thing that we learned is you can't. If it weren't for that cap on there and the flashing lights and stuff, that would blend in and seem like right. part of the scenery. Ninety degree turns eventually became against the rules as a ratchet. Uh, uh, design right. theory. We were we were only allowed to do 45s because of problems like this. All right, here we go. Gonna beat some guys up. Boom! Ooh, and the pieces fly away. As fly if you away. Were really That's right. Show. But the bolts don't because that would suck. That would be very mean. That, that would, nobody uh, would like that at all. But like like nice little clouds just flying by. Oh, the flap coming up the and flap down. Flap coming up Although and that down. That was probably not you, right? That was totally me. Yeah, I would you spend a lot coming? of time to make. I that thought work. all the moving stuff was. Uh, uh, you know what? This was special. By the way, it wasted a lot of time. No, 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 no. You know what? You might not have noticed that flap, but if that flap wasn't there, you would be like, something's wrong. <laughs> Something feels wrong. I don't know exactly we, what it is. We spent a lot of time on on little things in this game, like. Uh, uh, 
that, and then like the museum and the you, you put the clocks and the right. scissors, paper, rock and stuff. Yeah. We'll get we'll get to that when we get to those levels. Market for some security. You'll bring the cash. We'll bring the thrash. Good. I need your best men to meet me at these coordinates. Okay. Uh, let's see. Your health has improved. Oh, you got nanotech, dude. I did. Oh, this was the still the uh, original nanotech effect. We later found out on Ratchet 3 that the nanotech effect was incredibly expensive. Mike, I just keep seeing bugs, and I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I'm not going to point them out, though. I think I'm going to try to not point them out. No, 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 no. That's, and then what? maybe, maybe the viewers... viewers want to know. They, nobody Unless wants... you're going to run a contest, you I'm gonna, just got to tell them. I'm going to ruin this game for so many people if I just point out all the things that I don't like. I just want to point out this, this is kind of an old game. You're not going to ruin it that much. Unless they re-release it. That's right. Yeah. Lancer more oh. accurately. Okay, this is trying to tell you to do. It's trying to fight the camera with these horrible controls for one. Oh, you got him. Oh, look at that. See? No stupid enemies here. You shoot them, they come down, and they're ready to, for a fight. Do you want to use your gravity bomb? I do you want to use my gravity it? bomb? Well, look. Weapon, weapon, uh, it pauses when you go to switch weapons. That's, that's a, uh, uh, also strength, dude. Seriously, we had a hard time. We had a really hard time teaching people how to strafe. The least you could do is make it look like it was a little easier. Sorry, Mike. I'm sorry. It's been a while. It's been a while since I played this game. My skills are still coming back to me. The strafe I thought was a really good addition to this game. It was. Uh, it made a huge difference in the gunplay. It made it really hard to play Ratchet One, to be honest with you, because yeah. there is no strafe in Ratchet One. Backing off, resetting the situation. Right. Not gonna get overwhelmed. Uh, but you know what? Look how smart they are. They're still gonna wander around. They're not just gonna stand there waiting for you to come back. They got things to do. They're gonna go back to what they're doing. Now that they can't see you. When you cross the imaginary line. And uh, I think that's the end. I think this that's is it? the end of level zero. And uh, well, well played, Mr. Garcia. I think, and holds up well after all these years. I think it's still, still a pretty good looking game. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. Good looking game, yeah, blah, 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 whatever. Great playing game is what that is. Great playing. All the little touches really add up to make this an excellent level. And I think great times for everybody. <laughs> so then I guess I'll, we'll switch and I'll play. Those spinning blades, just a quick little thing. Those are the Ninja Star weapons. Oh, they're the same. I think so. It may be wrong. We may have made new ones. But for a while there, they were just the Ninja Star weapons. This isn't the game with your plasma whip in it, right? That was that one. was going... No, that was up your arsenal. That's, uh, that's another game. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, you're going to take the next level. I don't even know what the next level is. This will be a surprise for both of us. Oh, it's the swamp. Is it? Yeah. I don't even remember the swamp. swamp level with like the big tentacle monster. I don't remember at all. Cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes. I always game is... laughed at that maps to the stars and their homes joke. I don't know why. <laughs> this game is going to be a surprise to me the whole way through. The only Dude, level I remember. Those are guys. The they brutes. are my guys. I do feel a sense of ownership about the brutes. They were the first enemy you ever coded. Was it the Brutes that the was the Brutes were the first enemy you ever coded? Okay, so that means the city was the first level I ever did. And it had like that cool fucking lightning ball effect you did? Yeah, when we yeah. get there, it'll be, it'll be good times. And here's the, the cleverly disguised loading screen. I always like this. Yeah. One, two, three, and we're into the level.